Hey everyone, Gretchen Wagner here. Now you know that feeling, or maybe you kids these days don't know the feeling, but when people like scratch a blackboard and it just has this piercing sound that just makes your spine crawl, that is the feeling that I get when I look at my client's planners and they have written the word study or the word review. So my clients always know whenever we are looking over their to-do lists for the week that they need to really, really make sure not to use those two words. So today I was talking to a client and I was working with her on the skill that I call verborizing. And the skill is about finding really strong, specific words for the tasks you need to do when you're doing your homework or studying to make it easy, like to send an easy instruction to the brain about what you need to do next. So I want you to look at these four things here. And I want you to think through, like imagine that a test is coming up in French and think which of these is the best verbalized one. Is it to study French? Is it to review the subjunctive? Is it to go over conjugations? Or is it to finish the subjunctive worksheets? So this is the process that my client and I took. First, she had study French written on her planner. And I went, eee, I don't like that. And she said, oh my god, Gretchen, you always make me change these. And I was like, I know, so let's do it. So then she, she deleted this one. And she wrote, review subjunctive. And I went, there's that review word again. I don't like that. So then she wrote the word, go over conjugations. And you know what? I don't like that one either, because what does go over mean? What does it look like? There's no clear image that comes to my mind's eye when I see that. So it's just as bad as study or review. So I'm going to wipe that one out. And that means that finishing the subjunctive worksheet is the best verbalized instruction that she has here. Because she realized that she's got these worksheets, they're not finished yet, they're a great way to practice the subjunctive, so what a better way to study than to use a tool that she already has. I then walked her through figuring out how she'll know whether the work she's doing on these worksheets is accurate or not so that she knows that she's studying it well. But in this point, for this video, I really want you to understand the concept of verborizing and the importance of finding super specific instructions that you write down in your planner or your online to-do list to make sure that your brain has no excuses about following through because it's crystal clear what it needs to do. If you have any questions about this, I am always available at Gretchen at GretchenWagner.com. And there's a lot more instruction about how to verbalize and specifically like long lists of verbs you can use in your planner inside my course, The Anti-Boring Approach to Powerful Studying. So I will see you perhaps in one of those places, email or The Anti-Boring Approach to Powerful Studying. And I'll, of course, see you next week. Take care, you guys.